Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today is the last day of this whole Tesla episode until I will be picking up my car. But yes, I have finally received my delivery day. To be honest, it was definitely not going the way that either Tesla and I have expected it. So what happened? Well, as I already shown you in the last videos, I have done all the registrations and delivery and my financing things. And I was only left on this schedule at delivery for the car. And in yesterday's video, it told me that there is nothing available yet. Please wait a bit and then try again the next morning earliest at 8 a.m. So I waited, I checked today and it was still not working. And it said, please try again the next day. So I was a bit like, yeah, okay, if it still says that, then it should be, yeah, then it should just be waiting. However, then I have received a message in the Tesla app that stated, please schedule your delivery day, the latest by the end of today, because if you're not doing it, then the car will be placed to a different customer and your order might even be placed on hold. And I was like, okay, I cannot select any day or time and they tell me like make a decision. So it's definitely not supposed to be like this. So what I did, I had a contact number that I could just send an SMS to and tell them like, hey, I cannot do it. Can you yeah, check it out? And then they wrote me, yeah, okay, we will see what times and dates are possible for you. And then we will let you know. So I came home after work. I just texted them, like, thanks, I'm looking forward. You can always like call me because I was at home. And they said like, yeah, okay, it should work now. I tried again. They even sent me a different link. Still didn't work. And so in the end, what happened is I just waited. I told them like, yeah, okay, the link is unfortunately also not working. So they were then asking me if the if a certain day is fine. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. And then they basically yeah, chose a time in the afternoon and were asking me if that is a good time for me. And so I said like, yeah, that sounds good. And now they basically booked the time manually for me for my delivery. Yes, it is definitely not the way Tesla was expecting it to be going. I still don't know why it was buggy, if it was on their side or if it was on my phone's side. I have the newest update, so now it at least cannot be the app itself. Maybe it is a bug, but maybe it's also like just because my phone is older. To sum up this whole pre-delivery task in the Tesla app, I was so surprised how easy it was. I thought like I have to talk to the traffic market, so the Swedish... Um, governmental institution that is doing like dealing with the traffic so for example i have to register my car on my own i thought it's going to be way more complicated but no i already have a license plate it, it shows in the app and i had nothing to do with it like i have not given the like the name or anything it was basically decided on tesla's side on their own and i guess that the car will now be fully registered when i will picking it up and that is crazy because that means that the cost of the traffic plate are also already in the payment of Tesla, uh, in the payment of the whole car, which is good. Of course, it is not that much, but still, I really, really like that everything is yeah, working out so easy with Tesla. Of course, I have never bought any other new car. I have no experience, but from that point, amazing, really amazing. That is now all for today about the Tesla situation. I don't really have anything else crazy to talk about at work. I am stuck on documentation at least for the next few weeks. But then we have the vacation so and I have the car. So there's a lot of things coming up in the future. Because it's Friday for me, I have also planned to now cut the test drive Tesla video this weekend. Because next week we have a, more Tesla content. So I have to definitely now catch up on that. That is it for today. I will now take a shower, go to bed and yeah, have a great weekend. I also hope that you had a great weekend and we're going to see each other back in tomorrow's video. So until then, have a good one. Bye bye.